Hi, boys and girls. It's story time again today. Today I have two short books to read to you. Uh, and the first book I'm going to read to you is called Art, and it's by Patrick McDonough. This is Art. And this is Art. Art and his art. Can you tell them apart? Can you find art in the picture? He's hiding in his art right there. When art is in play, get out of art's way. He zigs and he zags. He really gets wired. There's no stopping art when art is inspired. He draws scribbles that squiggle. Dots, red, yellow, and blue. Splotches with blotches. And the curliest cues going around and around. Art stares at the paper and uses his noodle. Using his noodle, that means he's using his brain to conjure up a perfect doodle. And doodles need houses and trees and cool cars, a dog, a moon, and a billion bright stars. Art draws and draws till he flops in a heap. And among his creations, he falls fast asleep. Now let's be quiet to try something we've heard. A picture is worth a thousand words. <gasps> there's his picture that he drew. And there's the house, the tree, the car, the dog, the moon, and the billion stars. And he also has his zigzags here and his curly cues and his blotches. So they're all there. And when he wakes a little bit later, Art sees his art on the refrigerator. Held there by magnets, stars, and a heart, put there by mother, cause mother loves art. I think she likes both art and his art. And here's his curly cue, and he's going, going off to make another picture. Okay, that's our first book for today. The next book is called Horse and Buggy, Paint It Out by Ethan Long. You're going to hear another voice in, during this book, and that's Mr. Brian. He was with us before, and so he's going to be the buggy, and I'm going to be horse. Okay. That looks fun. Yes, I am painting a mural. What's your plan? My plan? Huh, I don't need a plan. It's all up here. In your hat? No, in my brain, silly. Here I go. Plunk. I could help. No thanks. I do not need help. Plunk! His foot goes in the bucket again. Horse, 
Your plan needs a plan. My plan does not need a plan. And neither do I. See? Horse, your mural is a big mess. This is how I like to work. Huh. Get your paint. Go paint your own mural. Stop. S step aside, please. Whoop! Splat! Horse, are you okay? Buggy? Yes? Can you help me? Yes. One, get a drop cloth. Two, put your things on it. Three, draw what is in your head. Or in my hat. He. <laughs> Finally, draw your picture on the wall. <laughs> then, you can paint. Wow, this mural will be great. Horse, why are you painting with your tail? Because horse hair brushes are the best. The end. Boys and girls, today I have some activities for you to do. And both of our books were about painting. So the very first activity I have for you is to paint with some chocolate pudding. How special is this? What you need is a piece of paper and uh, it's best if you use cardboard or card stock so that the, the, the pudding doesn't go all the soak all the way through the paper. And so you just put a blob in the middle, a blotch, just like Art did, and you can just spread it out. And then you can draw some pictures. You can draw, maybe you might want to draw like a butterfly. And guess what? You can erase it. You can practice, maybe you'd like to practice your letters. You can do that and just erase it. Maybe you might want to do your numbers. My favorite number is 23. So I'm going to put two and a three. And every time you're finished with whatever you would like to have up there, you can just erase it again. Now, last night I did my, I did a sample last night, and after I was all done, I was like, okay, I'm done finger painting. I made one last picture, and then you can set it aside some someplace out of the way, and you can let it dry. And this is what I did last night. Can you tell what my final picture was last night? I hope you can tell that it was an elephant. And the best part of this whole painting experience is the cleanup. And all you have to do is go like this. And you can have your cleanup real fast. Have fun doing that. Okay, boys and girls, here is the next activity for you to try. And it, it means that we need to have some paints. And you can make your own paints at home. They're pretty much like... Tempera, tempera paints. And so I have this, this so-called recipe or directions, and we're going to make sure that you see this at the end of our taping today. But I'm going to tell you what to do a little bit. The first thing you're going to do is you're going to get some water, and you're going to need flour, and some Kool-Aid packets, and some salt, and a little bit of vegetable oil. And you can have mom and dad help you make the paints. Well, I started off with making red, blue, and yellow. Those are what we call our primary colors. And once you have these three colors, you can mix them and then you can get some other colors like 
yellow and blue will make green. And red and blue will make purple. And also, we can use red and yellow, which will make orange. I did not have enough left over to make the orange, but you may have enough to make orange. So what you're going to do is you're going to mix all the, the flour and the salt in a bowl. And you're going to heat up the water. And once it starts boiling, you're going to stop and take the kettle off the stove and let that water cool down to lukewarm. And then after, the, after once it's lukewarm, you're going to add your oil, and then you're going to take the oil and water and pour it into the flour and salt. And you're going to whip it and stir it really well. And then you can put it into little containers like this. It's going to be white. And once you put it into all little containers, divide it up, then you're going to open up your little packets of Kool-Aid. Here's my blue. It is blue raspberry. And here was my yellow. It's lemonade. And here's what I used for the red, and it's cherry. And you're going to pour this into the white stuff that you made and stir that really well and then you will get the colors and then after you're done with that then you can mix to get your other colors if you do not have any kool-aid at home maybe mom has some thing called food coloring and once you get your white stuff you can put some food coloring in it's really special, though, when you use the Kool-Aid because you not only get the color, but you also get the smell of the, the flavors. So it smells really good. Now, once you have your paint, you can do some other activities with your paint. And I have this box, and I cut a piece of cardboard the size of in the box. I have some marbles. And I have some spoons. And what you can do is put a marble or two in each one of the colors. And then use a spoon to take it out. And you're going to put the, the marble into the box. Here, I'll quick do one. I'm not going to do it with the paint. But I'll show you that you can put two marbles, maybe two, maybe just one, that's okay, and you're going to put it in the box, and then you're going to roll those marbles around in there with that paint, and then you can take those marbles out and do another color, and do those two, and roll them around, take those marbles out, and do another color. Well, I did, again, I did mine last night, and here's what it looks like when you're all done. The marble It's called marble painting. And I want you to look at our cover to art. Art. Look, it's pretty close, isn't it? Yeah. I hope you have fun doing that. Now, the last thing you can do is you can take another piece of cardboard or cardstock, and you can use the same paints. And I have a whole bunch of different things that you can use for painting. And you can go around the house and maybe you might find some other things. I have an old toothbrush. And I have a sponge that I put a little piece of sponge onto a clothespin. And I have Q-tips. And I even have a feather. And, of course, I do have... A regular brush and you can have fun dipping these things into the different colored paints and you get different kinds of painting here's look here's art zig and zag here's his blotches this looks like his sky where his billion stars were and here I have green now to make this I used my q-tip this is how, what it'll look like when you use your sponge. And I made the sky down here with the toothbrush 
and I made these little green blotches up here with the feather. So have fun making a picture with all your different things, the, the try different ones, and see if you can make a beautiful picture just like Art did. That's all I have for you today. I hope you will enjoy the activities with all the paintings, the paint and the finger painting, and you have a lot of fun. And use your imagination and I hope that those pictures that you make end up on your refrigerator just like Arts did. Thank you very much for joining me, and I hope to see you soon. Take care. Bye.